Smart home devices are like economies in that they tell you that there is a problem. The economy is very wrong right now. Oh, tell me a solution. I don't know. I'm an economist, not a solutionist. At PreSensor, we are solutionists. We are a team, three amigos, with different backgrounds and stories from Venezuela and Vietnam, with knowledge in engineering, environmental, uh, electrical, and mechanical engineering, who understood that their problem of smart home devices is that they are incomplete. The problem is backed by numbers. A lot of things that can be already measured by smart home devices don't do that much. So let's say you get an alert from your smart home device. You still need to invest your time to solve that and find someone that can uh, fix it. But then when you get to meet that person, how can you ensure that that person will do a good job? You can't. So the solution that PreSensor has is connecting devices, uh, connecting the problem with the people that can actually solve it. That way, you can trust that the person will do a good job. You can save time and money as you are not spending any of yours. And you reduce the risk of damages in your home. We can tackle many verticals with this solution. But we focus on the health vertical. So we are creating air quality sensors. The market for this has very good numbers. And we could reach 2 million in sales in a span of two years. The customers can be gained through reaching to their representative like Kela and Allergia here in Finland. The device follows a simple uh, a principle of simplicity. And the app to interact with it follows the same philosophy of simplicity. Only three options when there is an issue. Our competitors do either devices or they do connection to the services, uh, or they do the services. But now we are in the middle, something that was never tackled before. The revenue model is selling of the devices and the billings done through our services. We're looking for 200,000 euros to accelerate the pace at which are, we are developing. We plan that by January, we will have already our pilot testing. And by August 2018, we will have our first unit delivered. This is only a first step. And we already uh, have proof of concept for two additional devices that can use the same principle, that the same solution that we have of connecting problems with people that can solve it. We are presensor. We know what your smart home needs before it knows that it needs it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for a good pitch. And for a jury's Q&A. Thank you. Uh, what's the profile of your target customer? The profile in general is people that uh, is looking for a health, that has a healthy lifestyle and cares a lot about their quality of the conditions in their homes. Um, but also the people that have uh, sicknesses that are chronic, so respiratory issues like asthma or allergies, allergies to dust, uh, mold, or uh, that is another side of the problem that, um, that we can reach. So in short, is people that have sickness, a uh, chronic sickness um, related to respiratory issues and families that care about their health. Where, <clears throat> where are you at in the uh, product development right now? Okay, so with the air quality sensors, we already have our third uh, revision of our prototype. And we are ready to, in January, launch our pilot testing we're using an app. For now, it's just a browser app, not really a phone app. Uh, but we, start, we need to start gathering data to validate very well what are the readings that we are making with the sensors. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you very much.